So with that, I'll move into a, a demo of this application. Again, this uh, application is uh, open source, so you can find it in, in GitHub in Emil Run. Uh, and there is a, when you clone the Git, you'll see uh, there's a, a notebook that tells the story, uh, but there's also source code and other things built into, into that. Uh, the notebook is broken to two elements. One is actually generating fake calls. So if you want to build your own fake calls in a certain topic, it, there's, uh, the first part, part is doing that, but I'll, I'll skip uh, the calls generation and we'll, we'll use the, the data from calls that we already uh, generated. So essentially we have a, a pipeline for a call analysis that has many different steps. Let's scroll down to the pipeline. Uh, you know, we have the calls, we need to do this diarization, breaking the audio to uh, segments. Uh, we can update the database with all those different calls. Uh, we do transcription on, on those calls, doing PII recognition and filtering, uh, doing analysis and answer post-processing. One of the interesting things is that most of those functions are library functions. You actually don't need to write any of the code here. Uh, I'll show you one in a, in a second. And the only thing you need to do is essentially build a pipeline that has those different steps. You know, again, you have those different steps. For each one of the steps, you you do provide arguments, and you just run this pipeline. And this essentially takes uh, a batch of uh, audio calls and converts it into a table uh, in the in the database. When we launch the the pipeline, we can actually see the pipeline uh, in ML run in this case. And uh, for example, let's take this step of PII recognition. We could look at all uh, the cool artifacts. This is uh, showing us what it actually did in terms of PII uh, detection and filtering. So it actually identified uh, entities uh, and other elements in the text and replaced them and anon anonymized them uh, based on, on the policy of this uh, component. And again, you have other things like analysis, you know, the analysis uh, generated the table with all the different things, like what is the summary of the call, what is the main topic, and so on. And then we have sort of post-processing that does a bunch of cleansing and anti-hallucination and so on. This essentially has some other uh, outputs, essentially the same thing, just uh, clean and, uh, and usable. Again, you see all those empathy, you know, kindness and so on. There are a lot of different challenges how to get that and to give you a right score. Uh, if you want, you know, talk to us offline, we'll, we'll share with you all our uh, war stories on that. Uh, but eventually it updates the database with all the information about those calls. Now, if we go into an application that we built using some uh, G-Radio that just browses the, the database, it's a SQL database that stores all the calls, uh, we can see this table of information. Let's uh, let's select one of the calls, for example, this one. And uh, if we go with the call, I I hope I'm sharing audio. Um, Hola. Do you hear my audio? Sanchez, de Ignacio Martín, si yes, we do. Con quien tengo el placer de hablar hoy. Hola, Fernando. Mi nombre es Miguel García. Hola, Miguel. So, yeah, I'll stop that just to show you I'm not faking. So this is a real uh, call, a real call in uh, Spanish, and this is the transcription of that call. But if you go into each column in the, the database, you'll see all the different aspects we mentioned, like what is the main topic. Instead of reading through the entire conversation, you can just say, oh, you know what, this guy negotiates pricing, or this one has a problem with the slow internet speed. And we could, you know, use those classifications. We can also tell the LLM, you know, give me a class out of given classes, so it won't be free text. You can say, okay, I have ten categories. Make sure you match the conversation to one of the, one or more of these uh, categories. So that just you can see how you can build something that takes audio calls and generates lots of insights, and then you could do many different things with those insights. Each of one, each of those columns is essentially a prompt. Now, as I mentioned before, the, the pipeline is using pre-built pre components that are all hub functions. In Amazon, you have the function hub. If you go to the Amazon function hub and you, know, you search, you have the question answering a component. Uh, this is where you can see an example of how to use it. You can even see the source code. 
um, and testing and all that has versioning. So again, you don't need to write any code. You just need to stitch a pipeline with all those different uh, steps. Okay, with that, let's move to the next uh, example. So what we've seen is batch. Uh, one of the real challenges is with real time. The real challenge is transcribing the audio in real time while the user or the client is talking, we want to analyze the, the call explanation, pass it to an LLM, and uh, do some analysis. So here is a code that our team built in order to transcribe audio from an incoming stream in real time and send the text chunks to a different application. We'll see how it's used uh, later on in a specific uh, copilot application. So here we're essentially initializing a class that our team built leveraging the open source whisper model with a local GPU. And we added code for noise cleansing, identifying gaps in voice and few other functions. And so here we initialize that uh, class that we built. There is a small front end application, essentially just having an audio recording button. And what it does, it takes the audio, sends it as chunks into the, the backend transcription model and responds with the text. So in order to run the application, we just take this cell that builds the interface, we run it, it will generate the G-Radio uh, application. Uh, once it's ready, we can open it on a separate uh, tab and, and uh, launch it. You can see it here. In this tab, we can essentially just go record and convert the knowledge into text. This text could later be used for various applications. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our webinar series. Here you will learn different topics of machine learning. Yeah, so what, what you've seen is essentially uh, building a code that we don't want to do just batch things, we want to do real time. So. This tool, the, this library that uh, I just showed you is used in a bigger application that I'll show in a second, which is a real-time co-pilot. So 